hello guys welcome to my channel i am samantha the introvert today i want to give you my personal review on episode 5 of sunset vibes so without further ado let's get into it okay we at one hour before where sun is looking for salin and that is where he found out that salin is being held at the police station then sun went to see salin without realizing that salin was not alone I get it. When you're concerned about someone, everything is irrelevant. But after finding out that Salen is okay, Salen showed Sun that he was not alone. In fact, all the intern and Julius saw Sun got caught with Salen in 400k. And Sam's face was it for me. Like, Sun, why you not call your brother to hear what's up instead of giving yourself away but again he was concerned about his man i mean they were heading to the bathroom you know at this point pim must have peed herself with this shock now everyone is sitting and all that yo and pim could think about is salin and son's relationship i think sam is just shocked overall they want to know all the details of this relationship but because of the situation right now, Salim promised to tell them later. Sun came to them and asked them to keep their relationship a secret or at least until the internship is over. Because if people find out, they will think Salim got in the company because of Sun and they will not see Salim and his true talent. After both Salin and Sun left to talk, this one felt it's best to gossip about Sun and Salin's relationship after Sun personally asked not to. Luckily, Yo catches him and stopped him in time. When they read what Julius was about to send, they threatened him that if they, he dares to tell anyone, they will spread his story about his relationship with Chan, like Julius was so excited to spread Sun and Salen's relationship he forgot about his own secret and because he doesn't want people to know about his relationship he said he would delete the message and will not tell anyone. All that is happening the only person's secret that no one knows is Sam. He remains secretive. No one knows of his true identity. Boy playing Clark Kent well. Son apologized to Salen for exposing their relationship, but Salen said that he's not upset with Son because he understands that Son was worried for him, that's why he showed up. Son offers to talk to Salen's friends and explain things, but Salen said Son that he will do it. I love that during this little chaos, Son found a way to make Salen feel at ease even though he was the one who causes the problem. So I guess he should be the one to put Salen at ease. Okay, it's explaining time. So Salen told Yo and Pim how he got to know Sun, and it was through the hat matching making site that Yo set up for Salen. And that same night he got matched from that day, the person he got matched with and continues to communicate with is Sun. Not only that, but they also figured out that Sun is also the person that Salim met at the hotel and the one he went to Hong Kong with. Honestly, this is also a lot of information to drop on them to know that Salim hit the jackpot. He's talking romantically with the company president. You don't see that often in reality. In fact, you don't see that at all. But hearing this got Yo and Pim upset with Salen because as best friends, Salen never told them that. But they ended up making up with Salen have to treat them lunch for two months. Hey, Salen is rich now. Then while Yo is at home, he sees and hears something outside and went to check out what it is. Turns out it was Sam who claims he came because he's hungry, but we all know that's a lie. Please, I beg you, Sam, do not wait until the relationship for you and you develop to let him know who you are. We don't know if he finds out by accident if you will take it nicely like Al Salim did for Sun. You ended up cooking for Sam, as a future boyfriend should. 
You know, originally Sam wanted to go out to eat with Yo, but eating a meal made by Yo is even better. Again, do not wait until the relationship has developed to tell Yo your true identity. Also, I find it very interesting how Sam can keep it Clark Kent and not spend excessive like Sun on the other hand. Sam likes Yo and Sam is trying to show it little by little but not fully because he's not sure if Yo likes in the same way. I can't wait to see how their relationship will develop. Okay, normal work day where Yo and Pim is set to organize files but is warned not to go into any specific files cabinet. But because Pim is a very curious person and that day when she was trying to help one of the workers with the files and she will never let her so Pim is looking at to see why but she doesn't understand anything that's written in the files so she put it back. Everyone is working and Pim says she wants to work with Prim, you know, the way she acting at this point her sexuality is by. She proceeds to do all of her way, even flirting cute ways for Prim to agree, but none of those work. But homegirls has no shame. She says she will try until Prim noticed her to the point where Prim likes her. It got late and Yo is tired and he's going home. But Prim didn't want to leave. She wants to stay because Prim is there. So Yo advised Pim to come up with a move so Prim will notice her more. But another move caused a big problem. You see, Pim made coffee for Prim, but accidentally dropped it on a computer and made the computer shut down. And to make matters worse, the poor Prim never saved her work on the computer. Later, we see Sun asking Chan if he ever had a boyfriend. Poor Sun. He doesn't know that Chan has a boyfriend, but for shits and gills, Chan told Sun, yes, he had a boyfriend once. Sun then asks what was the best way he did to cheer his boyfriend up because he wants to do the same for Salen and make Salen feel relaxed. Chan said he would just cook and clean for his man and because his man doesn't really get fussy about anything, he doesn't have to do much. Honestly, I love how Chan was smiling the whole time. Well, it's a good thing he got Chan's advice because Salen's place really needs cleaning. Salen told Sun that because he was too busy, he didn't have a chance to clean up. So Sun decided to do the cleaning while Salen continued his work. Wow, Salen got himself a rich butler. Plus, it's free. I ain't gonna lie you, must looks damn good. After finishing the cleaning, Sun stumbles on Salen's painting. Salen said where he used to live with his parents, there was always a beautiful sunset. And he loved it, so that's why he paint this. Oh my, richness can never end. Anyways, Sun brought Sally into his mountain house. I keep wondering all the spending on expensive movements and Sun be doing... How is it his mother doesn't know anything? Sun brought Sally there just to see the beautiful sunset because Sun himself loves the sight of sunset too. That is why he chose to build this house here. Then Sun told Salen that he would love to start a relationship with Salen and ask Salen to be his boyfriend. But Salen said his word for Sun because he just got into being a president of a company and it might cause a problem if they find out him and Sun are in a relationship. Sun then told Salen to not focus on the consequences and listen to the heart. And because of that, Salen accepts Sun's boyfriend proposal. Sun told Salen that when the time comes to face the consequences, they will have to face it. But also for that, when the day comes to tell the public about their relationship, they must remember that they have each other. 
they are officially boyfriends. Again, let's not think about the consequences because trust me, right now, the consequences is thick in my brain right now. They are having a romantic dinner and then Sun pulled out the expensive promise ring. Beyonce said, if you like it then you should have put a ring on it. Sun did exactly that. Then they did some royalty dances. Then the next thing you know, they out here doing body party. Then Silent told Sun that all that they do and all that Sun does to him should only be for him. No one else. That is right, boy. Put that rule down. They belong together. No cheating. Okay, guys, that is the end of my review on episode 5 of Sunset Vibes. Stay tuned for my review on episode 6. And as always, if you like my reviews, give them a thumbs up, subscribe, hit notification bell so you never miss any of my videos. And I will see you next time.